The Who is another band that has to find their own identity. Among the seniors who dominate the market like the Beatles or the Beach Boys, and their contemporaries like Cream or Led Zeppelin. The Who create works that are very personal, but after Keith Moon's death, their work has changed almost unrecognizable, which is remember because of the sound that is still similar, but their greatness is that they can continue to do good works. Please press like button, follow channel and share to your friends thank you very much. Number 10 The Song Calls, I Can See For Miles, released 56 years ago from 2023, let's listen. The chorus and the atmosphere, we can still smell the Beatles, but Keith Moon's drum songs tell us this is no who. This guitar solo, someone who is experienced in playing music probably once thought of a solo like this, but those who have experienced doing something like recording a record or CD will know that it's very rare to actually do something like this, and above all the who guitarist Pete Townsend did a great job. Number 9 The Song Calls, Out on the Street, the first song of the first album of The Who, released 58 years ago from 2023, let's listen. Powerful, although the Who character is not very evident in this solo, but from John and Twistle's bass sounds and bass lines, Keith Moon's drum sounds and lines, and Pete Townsend's guitar sounds and lines, made we know this is the Who. Number 8 The song calls I'm a Man released 58 years ago from 2023, let's listen.
we don't get bored of listening. The sounds and lines of the guitar and the drums make this song gracefully escape from the Beatles' shadow. Of course, their popularity and record sales couldn't be compared to the Beatles, but I think it was a huge success as artist. Number 7 The Song Calls The Rock release 50 years ago from 2023, let's listen. Beautiful guitar sounds and lines, has its own atmosphere. The Who, although less popular with Asian fans, is not as popular as the Beatles or Led Zeppelin because many of the Who's songs have a classic music structure that has many tempos, fast, slow, stop, which Asians, most of whom are originally from farming, they not used to this kind of music, but that's the past story. When Asian people are more familiar with songs that change tempo in the same swing more, people will understand the who more. Number 6 The Song Calls Please, please, please release 58 years ago from 2023, let's listen. Cute and tearing up the old world view of the guitar line. This guitar line in this era may not be strange, but the era when almost 60 years ago was very new. It takes a lot of imagination and courage. If you can play guitar enough to do a guitar solo you'll know that this guitar solo isn't that difficult to master but very difficult to imagine. Number 5 The Song Calls Getting in Tune released 52 years ago from 2023, let's listen. Fun to imagine. 
This solo reminds us that Pete Townsend is a really good guitarist, he's always looking for beautiful melodies. It must also be made in accordance with the band and have it the who sounds as much as possible which he could do that no one could replace him. Number 4 The Song Calls 515 release 50 years ago from 2023, let's listen. Beautiful and powerful probably thanks to drummer Keith Moon and bassist John Ant Whistle, Pete Townsend was able to imagine solos as well. Of course, each musician when joining to play as a band they influenced each other, but to Keith Moon and John Ant Whistle, they were geniuses. Their drum and bass lines were like no other. Number 3 The Song Calls. The Ox release 58 years ago from 2023, let's listen. The music atmosphere is very unique. Pete Townsend's solo avant-garde did really well, imagining the audience a lot. Drum sounds is not a solo try, but it's not an ordinary drum beat, it's a concept that musicians and the drummers have all thought about at once but no one can do well like this. Number 2 The Song Calls. Eminence Front, released 41 years ago from 2023, let's listen.
beautiful, very imaginative. This is the only solo in the top 10 that comes from Keith Moon's post-death album. As already mentioned that, each musician influences one another. Especially the genius drummer Keith Moon was very influential. After Keith Moon's death, the Who wasn't the Who as they was previously known. However, this solo by Pete Townsend made the song very famous. In fact, this kind of phenomenon is often seen in the music industry. The one of the most familiar one is Van Halen. After David Lee Roth split, Van Halen became a band, they not Van Halen, but they still call themselves Van Halen. Before going further, please help to press like button, follow the channel and share to your friends thank you very much. Number 1 The Song Calls Quadrophenia release 50 years ago from 2023, let's listen. Very beautiful. The structure of the song has already created the imagination of the listeners, but with the Pete Townsend guitar solo added to it creating even more beauty honestly, this number 2 and number 1 made me very hesitant. But I decided to make this solo number 1 because it should create more opportunities for listeners to think about hope. Or you have any opinions? Write comments to talk to each other. Thank you very much. チャンネル登録をお願いしますいいねとコメントをしていただくと動画がたくさんされますとても楽しみになります今後ともどうぞよろしくお願いします